on in through those narrow corridors, as we mentioned. C4 goes off, it'll connect, just barely missing out on the diffuser going down. Renshiro with one, but it means absolutely nothing, as it's a big, more top-heavy in their frag potential, and well, Shiko doing some good work on that second move on up. He'll have to do coverage, as now it's Renshiro diffusing, but the job will get a lot harder as Shiko falls. So close is Renshiro, he falls off, but it's a trade from Panix. Study, and Renshiro's looking to push up at some point. He doesn't see saves down below, and he's making quick work of those stairs is while BDS got that opening pick, Navi, excellent capitalization to bring it back. Down goes Shiko to saves, and it's a Lems with the UMP in hand. He's got three people. He'll find one, but he can't also drop the remaining member of Kendry. He finds two, though. That's actually a beautiful play, as unfortunate for them. You get the Nomad getting too close. But you're gonna have to hurry. He's almost done. There he goes. Kendrew pops in. It's another round for Navi. That got really close. Renshiro going off, presumably Mavericks. And while well, he pulls out the gun to be able to take out saves, giving the advantage back in favor of BDS. But 90 control? Well played oh, by yeah. Panix. He takes out Renshiro. Might as well have taken out Rafal as well, as Ironix is the one to get the team kill instead of the Legion. He will continue his path of Rampage, though, and that's a third kill, one of which was his own teammate. That'll leave coverage for Lems as the buck goes for the plant, but there's nobody watching. Up he goes. Diffuser surrendered. The Kali can't even get a single shot off on the Panics. The Legion will return to the site. Is going to rotate away? Yeah, there you go. So this is the moment to swing on in and go for the gunfight, go for the finisher, check for the window. There's the kill. And then Saves is going to sit back Seconds to go. Fall into Jack laundry. You have to go and plant. There's little time left. You're trying to use the time to your advantage. A bullet from Renshiro is giving out the timing for saves. He knows when he can push out. Two seconds left. Stay alive. Peek around the corner and saves. Gonna hit the shins of Renshiro. You can hear the sooty flames. Panics is an aviator. It's all slowing down for a moment. Here goes one for Panix onto Ren Shiro. Navi still very much in this, especially with how low Rafal is. But that's a missed opportunity from Blur. He manages to get it. A beautiful shot on the Rafal. And Shiko now in a 1v2. If there's anybody that you want in a 1v2, this is the man to get it done. 20 seconds left. They know where he is. They just don't need to give him a single inch because if you peek, he will make you pay for it. Inside of the vault, looking to break out. He doesn't have any information. Behind the bar, there's one. He'll drop Blur to a tiny bit of HP, but he gets shot through the wall. He flicks on over, and he's just got too many angles to cover. That'll be match point for Navi. Nobody seems to be any the wiser. They'll get away with it. Beautifully well played, but Saves is there to catch one in the transition, unable to grab the rest of Rafal. He'll walk away, but he might be a dead man walking with how little he has. Alems is the cross that will lead into Astronomy. Out swings Panics, down goes Rafal, and it's all on the Hibana, who gets dropped by Nello, and that will be it. Dead and down you go. Give Panix the opportunity as his revenge tour it claims a victim. They managed to drop BDS by a score of seven to four, despite a very good effort.